me again and you're back to hear more which is awesome and I'm a little surprised so <laughs> last time we we're talking about lordship and uh, this time I want to just spend a minute and discuss how once we allow him to take over our lives and he lives inside of us that our life changes it's not something we have to try to do it's a result it's a side effect and I'm, I'm promising you some of you guys think I got to come to God and make myself holy and better that's not the case when you come to him, you become like him. It becomes easier. Life gets easier. Things work. Um, there could be tough times and troubles, but even in that, you have this peace with him, knowing that he's got everything and it's in control. That makes it easier. So you can go through some really hard times and it's easier. I know. That is really, really weird, but it's the truth. And the truth is, is that through this, you shine. The world needs to see why we have hope. The Bible says that we're to give a reason for the hope we have. And the kicker is, is that that hope, that reason is shouted the most loud when we trust in Him and nothing bothers us through hard times, good times, or bad times. And so when we have that hope in Him, the world sees it and says, now that's different. And so you shine the love you have for other people. It shines. It's, it's just natural when you become a believer for the love of God to come through because you've been forgiven so much, you have grace to forgive others so much. Your life shines. It's an outflow. It's an overflowing life. You're cleaned, you're forgiven, you're cleansed, and your life becomes white as snow. So it, it's sometimes hard to believe that this kind of forgiveness is, is possible. It is. I ran into one guy who, who looked at me and said, I have sold drugs and I have done these bad things. I've been in prison. I got out. And how can God forgive me if I can't even forgive myself? And I looked at him in the reality of the grace I've been given. I said, hey, listen, if I forgive you, do you think God can forgive you? He's a better person than me. And he goes, I guess. I said, I forgive you. He started weeping when the reality hit him, accepted Jesus on the spot. I started discipling him, brought back a Bible to him. We met in a gas station. I went and got a Bible, brought it back to him in the gas station. Before you knew it, we're talking weekly, and um, he had been living with someone. He goes and he gets married. He makes things right, just right back to back to back. It happened so fast. His life changed. It was an outflow, and that all started with the ability to believe that he could be forgiven. And sometimes we just need to know that someone will forgive us and then we can believe that God can forgive us. Well, guess what? It doesn't matter what you've done out there today. Even if it's the most horrid, horrid thing, the truth is, is that all sin is equal. We've all fallen short and at the cross, the ground is level. Y'all, that's the only place in the world that we're all truly equal, the foot of the cross. And if I can forgive you right here now, you can be forgiven. I forgive you. I forgive you. I don't even care what you've done. I just want you to know him. He's so amazing. And the Father forgives you. So once you walk in that forgiveness, it gets so doggone easy to give it away. You just want to. And that realization, that understanding, it's like everybody's got to know how great this is. It's like when you found the best party ever, you want everyone to come in and enjoy. You know, you just want to bless everybody. The Bible says that Jesus, that the Lord takes our sin as far as the east from the west. And that's endlessly far. He forgets those sins. And that while we were still yet sinners, that Christ died for us, Romans 5, 8. Listen, you don't have to get better first. He saw, he's already died for you before you ever did anything worth it. That's amazing. That's amazing. No one else in the world will do that. No one else. I'm telling you, he cares that much about you. And so that's all I want to say is that that life of overflow, the white that makes us shine in our lives, it's a result of an encounter. It's a result of him literally coming in and cleaning us up. You don't have to become this. You just will. He's just that amazing. And it gets fun. It gets fun, guys, as you walk with him more because that white life of shining is an adventure.